right, this is Wrench and Roger at the Bosch booth. I'm with Ravi, the scan tool guy, and we're gonna look at the VCI, is it? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So I'm gonna talk to you about like uh, our aftermarket tools, our OE tools, and uh, why you wanna buy our tools. So the, oh, this is our uh, green VCI. It's a aftermarket, uh, what we call a vehicle communication interface. Basically, um, the, um, basically all the smarts are built into this and uh, it has all the software running on, on a laptop. And we have like uh, this software, diagnostic software running on the laptop that interfaces with this. And this, these, these guys can talk to each other via USB or wireless. And uh, this then talks to the vehicle through the, this cable. So as simple as that. So why do you want to buy this, right? So we have aftermarket uh, diagnostic coverage through two major ap applications. The Easy 2.0, which is uh, strong in European coverage and uh, it, it has good uh, domestication coverage. And we have um, Shop for Pro, which is strong in domestication coverage. So between, the, between these two applications, we have strong coverage for um, Asian, domestic, and European vehicles. The next reason why you want to buy it, this provides you OE diagnostic coverage. Now, in the service shops, you have a lot of uh, vehicles that come in that needs uh, specific things to be done to it, uh, which, which an aftermarket tool might not be able to cover, or an application won't be able to cover. Enter in uh, this tool right here. This is our uh, GM MDI. Bosch makes this specifically for GM, and it runs like uh, two, uh, two major GM uh, diagnostic software. The service, tech two. Pro, yeah, service programming and the... Uh, right, it, it yep. runs uh, the Tech2 Win, which yes. is basically the, the Tech2, a Windows version of Tech2, and it also runs the uh, GDS2 software. Now this... They look awfully alike. They do one look awfully screen, alike. One screen, one blue. I exactly. Wonder, I wonder why. It's, that's because we, Bosch makes both. One is made for the aftermarket, one is made for the OE. But the hardware is identical inside. So what that means is that any application that can run on the blue box can also run on the green box. We do run the Tech2 Win software right now, which is the, uh, the GM's uh, Tech2 software, OE diagnostic software. Very soon, we'll be running the GDS2 software. So, uh, G, uh, AC Delco is going to release uh, a patch where it's going to allow me to use GDS2 Absolutely, on this. absolutely. And that will hopefully work in the first quarter of next year, is what so we're hoping. So, what OEM and enhanced information updates should we be looking forward to for like manufacturers like Ford or GM yes. so um, on the, uh, on the, on the e regular software? Exactly. On the EZ2 software, we currently are working on uh, uh, Chrysler and we're working on Toyota, improving Toyota coverage. And then very so we, we already have built up our Volvo coverage and uh, we are slowly but steadily getting to OE level coverage with a lot of the uh, other manufacturers. Like uh, I know we are working on uh, uh, the Honda pretty soon and uh, Toyota will be complete by the middle of next year. So hopefully by the end of next year we'll have like most of the major vehicles uh, covered in our uh, aftermarket diagnostic software. In addition you'll have OE level coverage with Tech2 Win and GDS2. And uh, the third thing of this uh, Troika is that you, you, can be, you will be able to reprogram using this, uh, this tool. So reprogramming is getting to be a great business these days. A lot of the aftermarket shops like to reprogram. So this tool provides reprogramming for GM, Ford, Chrysler, Nissan, and uh, Honda at this point. With more OEs coming, so we are working with the OEs to get reprogramming. How does that help you, right? So you have a vehicle come in and you have to replace a module on the vehicle, an ECU. Now you have to be able to reprogram for that module to work properly. What do you do? You um, you, you have an option A, which is send your vehicle to the uh, to the dealer, and the dealer can do it, and then it can come back. Option B, you send it to the dealer, it never comes back. And option three is you can do it yourself, and you can charge a customer 100 150 dollars for that, right? And your your uh, how much you do you pay? You 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 buy this tool one time, and uh, it does diagnostics. It's free and you just need to go and download the software, which typically is like 30, 40 bucks. So you made like a profit of like say, 100, 150 dollars right there. So you can do like, uh, in summary, you can do reprogramming, you can do diagnostics, aftermarket diagnostics, and you can do uh, OE level diagnostics using this tool. All right, Ravi, looks Thank like you. some cool stuff. Absolutely, thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.